talk to you about it real quickly. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in or expose, change exposure a little bit. What do you notice? What's wrong with with the uh, with this design? With what they're doing so far? This is why buildings collapse during during construction. They're already starting putting the roof on right there. You see, they're putting the truss on. Right there, they're putting the trust on. And they have these beams. Beam, beam, beam. They might be bolted down. I'm going to stay off the property at this time. They might be bolted down. And they have this these bracing coming this way, so they, they see that it could tip over towards us. So that's what they project, predict, project, predict. And so... Why not just secure it back from the front of the building to the back then to stop that? So right about, you know, right about between where the trusts are to the back of the building. That would stop that, that, that flipping motion towards us. Well, wait a minute. How about a lateral motion left and right? All we have there is just one brace. One brace down the middle there. Right about, let me see, turns exposure for you. Right there, jogs a bit, I don't know how secure it is. But that whole wall should be plywood. Just plywooded. It's commercial. You don't have to just do the ends, you know, but it should all be plywood from one end to the next, or at least do the major corners. And when I say major corners, I mean from here and there, not 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 this is the corner. I mean at least come into there. And then Keep that roof, square that roof up, some plywood back there, make sure it stays nice and racked. It has a huge opening, you guys can't see it right through there. It's a uh, some type of ceiling access, uh, roof access, which should, the whole portal area should be plywooded around. This is a, uh, this is, this is how accidents happen. That's how accidents happen. It's a, uh, hmm. Yeah, look at that. The bracing is lacking. We got these silly bolts. That are, that are sheer, sh sh they share where the, uh, where the lamp, where the beam, where the glue lamp, it looks like a glue lamp from here, uh, meets. Let's see if I can give you a little more exposure. They share where the glue lamp meets right there. One ball on each side. Yep. So lateral shifting right now, there's, there's no weight on it, but when you start putting the weight on it, the materials will start working on it. It comes your lateral shift, and once it goes, it goes. You'll have some pullout, depending on the bolts there, how that will help try to keep it racked. you got this little turn here that will, will, would have helped, but they have to really, it have to really be tied in right there. Let's see if I can get the exposure coming in. It really had to be tied in at that corner, and that would just give you a little bit of a still tipping over, more tipping over than anything. But this is a lateral shift that's going to happen with this type of failure. So, again, during construction, you guys wonder why things fail. This will be it. You know, the, the, the shear walls. you got to put some shear walls on your materials when you're building. Shear wall it up. Stop being so greedy. They put some blocking between the, uh, the uh, open web truss there. And, of course, needs some fire stopping, things like that to protect it. All right, that's the end of this video. I just want to load it up. I do have a surprise for you later about the uh, um, the Champlain, and we're going to talk about towers, uh, towers, uh, pavers, the tile. The preview of that is this piece of corking that I have, and then I just grabbed some regular um, stinky products just laying on there. And the tile, I mean, when we see the butterfly at the bottom, what do you notice? The tile is missing. So when this when this deck started butterflying from the top, it popped those tiles off. They scattered them like that. See how you can see through it? How you can see through it now? As it went down, it popped those tiles off, like just flicking them off like fleas. And so that's where your butterfly action took place. Now over there, where you were further over, it more so draped, and so the tile stayed. Be a little elevation, so this tile stayed on and it is draped and went down. But at the butterfly section, where it went down first, down that middle, it fractured on two sides. When it did that, it created put t compression on the top part of the, of the pad and popped those tiles off like that. You can see if I can get below it.
So once you go back and look at the images, and you'll see all the tile where the firemen are, are just scattered everywhere. And that's your butterfly effect of what happened, showing you that both how it, how it folded in and how it shook the tile off like fleas, you know, shook them off. So, I want you to think about that. Sorry, I got wind blowing here. I'd, oh, I'd show you a little bit better detail than this. Boom, it hits. These tiles, you see, they can't compress. So they flick off. Flick, 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 flick. And they scatter everywhere. But other places we see, and this is going to be part of the video I'm going to show you. So this will be other places you see, it's still on. And so that shows a drape came down, landed on vehicles. You should see what my, my models I have for you guys later on. We're going to really enjoy this stuff. It's uh, possibly tomorrow, maybe today. Oh, don't forget, I need your help. Please uh, talk about Apple computers, PC computers, Home Depot, and Lowe's. And somebody else gave me another one. It looks like it was potato chips, really? A lot of potato chip commercials. Okay, bye.